What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Thaumaturge. We got to keep snapping around, seeing what we can see in this area, because right now we've gone from like, what, here to here? There's like a lot. Oh, there's this. I mean, this area is rather large. So we're going to be doing a lot of uh, a lot of walking and a lot of snapping as usual this episode in our walking simulator that's tricked us into believing that it's a real game. It's actually really fun too, though, so that's okay. I like how we receive quests off of those. It's interesting. The Anastasia. We'll go with... I mean, we can go in there now, I guess. Let's just save, just to make sure nothing crazy happens, you know? The Warsaw Courier, their majesties have arrived. When the issue of the courier is in your hands, the ancient city of Warsaw will be receiving its most distinguished guests. His Majesty Nikolai II and the Emperor of all Russia, the King of Poland, and the Grand Duke of Finland, and Her Royal Highness, Serena Alexandra Fyodorovna, will arrive in our city this afternoon. This will be the royal couple's first visit to Warsaw on this long-awaited and joyous occasion. Our city has taken up a festive appearance. Streets have been adorned with festoons of flowers and greenery in the entire area that the royal procession will pass through is filled with crowds of people wishing to pay homage to their majesties on behalf of the Warsaw and all of the kingdom. And with that vow of loyal allegiance, Polish hearts send to the throne a quiet echo of fervent desires and lasting comfort. These arise from his majesty's words who declared in his grand manifestos that his ultimate goal was to ensure the happiness of his loyal subjects and to discern all his loyal subjects' needs. Those gracious words of the Sovereign have become a source of comfort for the people of the Kingdom of Poland, and in the name of comfort, the Polish people under Russian rule are happy to greet His Majesty today, trusting their substantial needs will be recognized and ready for civic and public service. Hello. Oi, my grandson, it's you. <clears throat> I don't think Help you have me. the right man. These bags are so heavy and I'm not so young anymore. Would you take them to the car for me? I'll help. I'll help you. Where's your seat? Would you take them to the car for me? And this one. I bet he's in cahoots with her. Grandson? You old crook, where's our load? Probably in these bags. She told you to lock these? It must be a mistake. Help you, Grandma. That's all right, Grandma. That's what grandsons are for. Kick the crap out of him! How dare you? <clears throat> Start the fight. Attack with Upir to disable, you say? Get him, Upir. Get him. So did this not put- Oh, it makes you immune to- Duh. That makes sense. So I should have just done this. That's okay. We'll, get, we'll take some hits here for sure. Bleeding. Eight and bleeding. Ooh. Okay, so... This removes negative effects from me. And... We can actually put this on you. Delay or interrupt the actions of 50 enemies. Nice. Right back. Guy is the one that's the other oh, one. It's a turn. That's okay. I'm a fine with that. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna get to go no matter what, it would seem. Let's just stop you from going. Little baby stab, I see you, yes. So, I can end you. 
You can just heal me up, buddy. Thank you, my grandson. Wait a second. Granny will give you a little something for your trouble. No need, Granny. Well then. Take my bags to the train, young man. What's in the bags? What's in them, Grandma? Merely a granny's knickknacks. A family heirloom, so to speak. All right, let's go, or you'll miss your train. Yes, indeed. Or more of those scum will turn up. I raised you well, my grandson. That wasn't too hard. I <laughs> raised you well, my grandson. Yes, you did, Granny. Yes, you did. Now, wait, is there actually anything here? Anything else here? Because we're in a different spot, so I'm just wondering if there's actually anything hidden that you might not get if you didn't, like, snap your way through here. No, it doesn't look like it. That's okay. Also, I have been reading the comments, by the way. Thank you for them. I'm just moving at my own pace for now. I appreciate them though. I know we've already been in here by the way, we started out in here, but that's okay. Because obviously we've seen new things pop up. And it might just be because it's like the time of day. I don't really know how it works. All right, well, didn't look like there's much for us to do in here. <clears throat> Did we not do this point of interest already? Oh no, there's something else. Hmm. Simple waltzes have a lot of charm to them. I'd dance if it wasn't for Victor Schulz. If I wasn't Victor Schulz, the grave cold hearted thaumaturge. Beautiful. Okay, In interesting. Oh, we must have come up through here is why we didn't see this. Okay. Just keep snapping. One bite is enough to make me feel like I'm eight years old again. I feel like the Warsaw Donuts are the only sweet thing that happened to me in my life. Nice, they look like good donuts. Oh my god. Homemade donuts like that? Ugh. Let's sweep down through here and check out this area. If, if we can get in. I don't know if we can get in. <clears throat> we might not be able to. Yeah, no, we can't get in yet. Probably opens up at a different time of the day, maybe. Or maybe, maybe that's what we need our outfit for. Could be. Let's go up through here. See if anything is anything else unlocked. Night of divination. Oh, is it telling us like if we rested? I think so. I think it's telling us that if we rested, we could do like the night of divination quest. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, maybe it's not. We station as well. Yeah, let's swoop up through here. Check out this. We've gained a new quest, Green Square. Can't go in there. Yet. Invitation, Anton Lusniski is pleased to invite admirers of the art to of a painting to an exhibition, during of which he will present a new series of paintings retitled, entitled Rebirth. It will be a creative reference to the Greek myth of Prometheus. The exhi exhibition will take place on September 6th at 5 p.m. at 94 Marzolsko Street, Apartment 8. The paintings will be available to the public in the evening the next two weeks. A small printout decorated with floral motifs. It's an invitation to attend the exhibition of works of by the read artist of Anthony Lulosky. <laughs> 
Don't just you can't even try to help me guys. Honestly, you can't even try to help me. Blood. Oh, fabric. Hatred and loathing guided his young hand as he threw away his clothes in the alley and set them on fire. The safe plaid vest, a symbol of Birdemir and Burgoy's boredom, burned silently. He felt nauseous as the thought of his family, its passivity and lack of ambition, was time for fire. Hope you guys like the sound of my voice because there's a lot of reading. Not as much as in Rogue Trader though. If you were around for Rogue Trader, there is a lot more in Rogue Trader for reading. Hello. Denunciation to the attention of the police station for Warsaw. Yep, September 1st, 1905. Yesterday at a private dinner, dinner the artist Antoni Lesnowski expressed himself in unflattering terms about the Tsar, then made a toast shouting subversive Slogans, quote, the Tsar will get his comeuppance and we will soon see him fleeing with his tail between his legs to an independent Poland, which is always present in our hearts, if not yet on the maps. Hello, sweet Piece of secret. paper covered in hastily written scribbles. Every insult will be avenged. The sad men will soon come for Antoni. His head spins from cold rage and desire for revenge. Every innocent word dooms the enemy. Verses of the denunciation dance around the overjoyed heart in a haunted procession. Draw a conclusion. Antoni Lewiski has organized an exhibition for his works, which contain a patriotic theme hidden on many levels. The exhibition will be available for viewing in the evenings at the apartment on 94-8 Marzalwalska Street. Yes, great, fantastic. Can I talk to my artist friend in here? I know we've already been in here, by the way. But I'm still gonna snap through, because as I've said before, we've been finding new things when we do it. But I'm just making sure that we don't find anything new up in here. That girl's not in there. Alright, let's go check out this office, shall we? And we'll save. Baronin's office. Official letter. Dear investigating judge, in response to your inquiry regarding progress in the fisherman case, I can inform you that there is none. It is handled by my our man Pelavin, and so far, without much success. Fortunately, the murders are limited to the Bolish Bolishli area, where the expendable human elements are in plenty. Yours sincerely, Igor Mashik. Dear Mr. Magic, I have no idea in what circumstances you have lost your moral fiber, but I suggest you find it as quickly as you can. Expendable human elements? Do you have no shame? There is a murderer on the prowl in Polvishli who is killing people in a particularly violent and terrifying manner, and you try to comfort me by saying it's no harm because the victims are poor. Perhaps your high salaries made you lose your mind. Maybe I should pull some strings to lower it. What would you say to that? Maybe. Evaluation, Sergeant Karras. When someone asks me about Sergeant Karras's work, there is only one word that comes to mind, farce. Errors. Even aside from the embarrassing arms shipment robbery, I must say that Karras is an absolute dilettante and a disgrace to our forces. Het is the kind of man who uses his elbow to stir soup. That is all I have to say about that. Oh my. Hello, uncle. Oh, wait, before I forget you rascal. You didn't confess to your uncle that you recently visited our cells. I, I thought you were the one who had me released. What? Nonsense. You need to promise it was the last time, you got it? What brings you here? So what's new, uncle? Crime to underworld as usual, thanks. All right, sounds good. So what's no, new? No, sorry. Uncle? Crime Wrong button. I won't bother you at work. Don't hesitate to visit your uncle. Don't hesitate to visit your uncle. Alright. Let's get out of here. Not this way, though. That would not be the way out. Where do we have left to look at? down here and then up this way and then we can probably rest to check out where something else might be hello there denunciation the mad artist androsevich who lives on 84 pose not yep brings strangers to his house every day and talks to them about newski orthodox church they discuss it 
its construction in detail. It is highly likely they are planning an assassination attempt. I advise you to take an interest in this suspicious person and his shady guests. A type denunciation address to Okana agent at 84 Poznaska Street. Suspicious meetings that are held daily at the Mad Artist Department. Subjects are the talks of the Nevsky Orthodox Church. Ah, yes, this is where the building fell. Glass with a bent frame and broken lens. Before his last breath left him, Father's gaze wandered, searching for the source of his end. He did not close his eyes. He passed away with his eyes wide open, hurling thunderbolts from his eyes toward his nemesis. Anger clung to the crooked frame, not grief, sadness, or fear, also natural in a moment of anger. Ang or danger, anger, at the fact that death came too soon. It announced itself, but did not ask about any unfinished business. Worn out leather shoe, dirty from dust. The owner of the shoe was a haughty soul who feared nothing, for whom death was an intruder destroying the order of the universe. He had his feet firmly on the ground, and even when death stared him in the eye, he did not give in to the instinct to flee. Yes, this shoe belonged to my father. A large pillar broken in half. Wild fury radiated from here, nestled in the body. This blow to the pillar collapsed the entire building, a punch born of a powerful fist carrying colossal amounts of strength. Chaos. Only chaos can be felt here, devoid of any composed thought, intention. What breaks through to the surface of the disorder is destruction, as if designed in the guts of what wrought it. This place carries the memory of my father. What is left of him here completes his image as a tenacious man with a hard heart. Interestingly, he expected death, although it came sooner than he expected, which clearly upset him, and the death that came for him was a strong, uncompromising Am fury. I a magician or what? Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt. Upier, why did you not warn me? Tie him up. There you go. Oh, did I just lose like a bunch of quests? We took his book. Well done. All right, let's wake the asshole up. Wakey, wakey. What? What's? Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. Well, what did you expect? That after years of hanging out in Parisian salons, you'd come back handsome and spruced up. How do you know about Paris? Nothing stays secret from any agents, right? Shit. Just read out my birth certificate, why don't you? Abaoritsy Niedzic. Long time no see, Shulski. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Not the best. Listen, I understand you hold some resentment within yourself over what happened, but I can't change the past. Well, yes. But shit! You told me to wait for help and instead the boys in blue showed up and you washed your hands of it and left my pop to rot in prison. At least admit that you acted like a dick. It's not like that. I didn't mean to hang you out to dry. I was going to get help, but... What? Didn't they have ink in France? The time for explanations was 15 years ago. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're just like your father. My father's karma came back to bite him. A horrible death in return for the kind of man he was. I'm sure you heard. 
Well, admittedly, nothing's but a spring in my step in a long while, like hearing that Shulsky met his end as sludge on the sidewalk. They say the devil doesn't take the wicked, but for your old man, he made an exception. Now that he's dead, let's put the past behind us. There'd be no reason to talk if you hadn't pinched Papa's gut back then. Victor, it kills me that we pulled the trigger together. Together! You did? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward! Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shivs. With the shivs, yeah. Ching, 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 ching. The sound of shiving, in case you weren't, if in case you didn't know. I'll take a look around. The Lecurio tragedy on Marzolska Street. Several people have died in a building collapse, including respected Warsaw entrepreneurs, Danislav Slushki. Slush. Slushki. I don't know. I can't say it. No one seems to know the cause of the accident, defective construction of the building, or deliberate attack. All we know is that we could not have been foreseen. Shock and awe, the tenement house is inhabited by four families. Wait, we, I think we've already read that. Inventory of debts. Luis Gajewski owes 200 rubles. Deadline September 10th. Duck and manure. Jan talked back. Deadline until October 5th. Knock on his teeth out if he doesn't apologize in writing. Joseph, 50 rubles, deadline until the 9th, break one finger for every 10 rubles owed. Jean owes 335 rubles, deadline until the 10th, repaid. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today... We're practicing our boxing on you. Some... Feathers? A beak? I know you. You're... I can't remember now. Fucked up. But today, you'll regret it. Today I've got the Demon Master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor. Victor. Yes, let me do your dirty work for you real quick. This guy can be taken out pretty quickly. What's this? Oh, no, this is my guy. Let's... He's immune to new negative status effects. It's okay. Reduces focus. Then over here, we're gonna just stop this guy as well. Ow! Mom! gonna knock that guy out it didn't that's okay let's finish him off and then here we can heal up a little bit it said we were gonna heal for 11 but i think we're gonna heal for more now that we got hit right i think so yeah 15 now is that hot Let's pop him in the face and finish him off. Here, we'll do this one, since he's gonna get to attack no matter what anyway. There we go, should be good. Right in the face.
<laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I helped you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up, yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? Returning to the subject of the past. Fuck the past. We're in the here and now. Let's enjoy the moment. Cheers. You don't want to talk about it? I thought that was why you kidnapped me. I've changed my mind already. You better tell me what you're poking around my bar for. It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit! I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me there's a salutar here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey, everybody! From this day forth, the London bar will be known as The Demon's Den! Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the devil's company. Listen. You keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. Thanks, kidnapper. <sighs> Let me check out. So I still have, okay, so like I still have all my side quests, cool. The restaurant menu, you guys can. Pause and read that if you want. Hole in the wall with a bullet still stuck in it. My first expectation is always to find fear, doubt, or anger behind a bullet. After all, who shoots just like that, treating as some sort of game? Exactly the kind of person who fired this bullet lightheartedly, seeing the weapon only as a tool of enjoyment. A wooden pole with traces of knife throwing. <clears throat> Drops of blood seep deep into the wood, preserving the memory of a severed human ear. The hand that threw the knife had a clear target, an ear cut off in a frenzy with a smile by a mind deft to any afterthought. Individual splinters still remember the cold steel of the blade, which was guided by a heart marked with competitiveness. It had no precision, only stupidity fueled by the desire to win. Dirty rag. An ordinary dirty rag soaked with blood. The cloth is stained with fresh blood. The ultimate blood that flows from a fatal wound. Carelessly put away, it is the last reminder of a recent brawl with a tragic ending. Nice. I think that's a quest too, by the way, getting all, or an achievement too, getting all those. To the eyes. Your eyes are filled with shades of memories. Close them and look there, far ahead. Do you see sunrise, the day's herald? No. For you, night is eternal. Yes. I see you, lipless, with hair as long as the past. You are a body warm in my memory. You rot, yet violets spring from you. I pluck them and give myself to your embrace. I feed on nothing, nothing I affirm, and I wait, I wait. No epiphany comes. The spearheads of your eyes are hollow. I search for a gaze, but only an eye and a hand, deaf in its stare. Warsaw, 1904. I'll read this first. Here we finally look like ourselves, laughing school kids constantly in search of a new brawl. Nice of ever actually to keep it. Broken window with planks where the glass used to be. Fragments of human tissue can still be found nearby. Some man flew through this window, leaving behind the memory of his bleeding body. Someone grabbed him by the tails and pushed him without much force or precision, rather spurred by adrenaline. Yes, sir. 
a sturdy hunting knife engraved with the initials A.N. Carries the memory of poetry being recited in the different situations, whether while picking dirt from someone under someone's nails or mutilating someone's face, the bloodstained blade must be a good source of inspiration. From the wooden inlaid handle protrudes a long, sharp pommel that has tasted blood and stripped people of small body parts more than once. The knife is a bloodthirsty beast that demands to be fed. The London bar couldn't belong to anyone else. This perfectly represents Aberachi's nature. The parties here often get out of control and end badly or even tragically for those involved. This place smells of blood, stupidity, and foolhardiness all soaked in alcohol. Beer. Find out more about Aberachi. Yeah, let's do that. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? Tell me something more about these Cossacks. They roam around different bars picking fights as soon as they get leave from the Citadel. Sometimes we pummel each other and things continue as usual. Well, well. How did you get your hands on all this? I worked my ass off for years. I found myself in shitty positions. Sometimes I had to make people disappear. Pop wouldn't have been proud of me. Maybe it's a good thing he didn't live to see it. But then I'd have to kill you. Your father was a good man and didn't deserve for that to happen to him. I'm sorry. That's true. However, we're alive. We're in the here and now. And that's the most important thing. And what a life it is, eh? Hey. Yeah, Whether with your head in the clouds, or a knife at your throat, once eating ribs at Matslov's, another buried in one's breasts. Moment. Stay a while. Linger. But before long, you're running flat out. Someone, whap, nabs you by the coat. But here I am. Every time, I'm reborn like a fucking phoenix from the ashes. What is this bullshit about it? Victor. Victor. What I've been through belongs to me. Now I'm the king. Tell me, what else is going on? I've had a look around and something's caught my attention. I think they might have something to do with the Salutar. Well then, shoot! A bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Not at all? Who smashed your window? How long it's been? <clears throat> uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. Uh, he fell in love. One day he packed his bags and... Uh, Ran off with that bitch. I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. Hey, what the uh, heck? But what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. 
But fuck it. I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well, then I'll ask you. Is he an idiot? Or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to... gather myself a little, too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The name of the Salutor. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death, and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there, too. Lelek. Wait, so now we can't talk to Upir? That's dumb. And Kashubian, his name means fool. Leleks are small and unruly salutators drawn wherever there is music and various acts of recklessness, especially if someone dies in the process. Their trill is often a harbinger of imminent death. Flaws that Leleks are interested in are those related to excessive bravado, gullibility, and looking for conflict. Abarachi, he used to be our third twin. We were inseparable until something happened. Abarachi's father owed money to some nasty people, and we both decided to help him. It all went wrong. The loan shark was killed, and my father resolved it in the worst possible way, by sending me away from home. I lost touch with Abarachi. He's gone through a lot since then. The London Bar. Here, vodka's down to like tea and blows are exchanged in greeting. The London Bar does not look like a tap room in London Soho, open all night. Stinking of constant hangover, attracting all sorts of low lives like a magnet. It's a place to forget yourself, a place that urges forgetting by plying its customers with hectoliters of liquor of all stripes. At night, it's a haven for winos and ruffians, but by day, it becomes their curse. More than one has lost a finger and or more in the back it is, after all, the territory of the Shivs, a ruthless gang who consider themselves the masters of the underworld, led by the one and only Abarishi Nizjik. They spread terror by day and night. They raise their glasses and drink to a brighter future. All right, guys, that's going to be this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.